So the other day, uh, I went and acted in a play in Cambridge. Basically, to cut a long story short, the way I got the gig is that one of my old lecturers is directing the play and co-wrote it and thought I'd be good in it. So, actor, look at me, acting like I'm entertaining. Paint me like, not gonna do that. My day was off to a pretty great start. I was uh, drinking my morning coffee looked outside. Oh, look at that! It's snowing! It's snowing right now. I'm sure nobody really cares. Ain't that nice? I've sat really uncomfortably. I'm gonna move forward. That's better. Cross them legs, home skillet. I just called myself home skillet. That's about as real as it can get on camera. When I got on my first train, I had my first ever experience of charging my phone whilst on the go, and like, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know how excited I got about this. Technology baffles me. I was charging my phone on the go. I think I summed it up quite nicely in my shot. Director's cut. Now, before the day even happened, I was feeling super excited for it because Fred, my old lecturer, sent me the tickets that I needed to get all the trains and what have you in this envelope. It's over there. Should have planned, should have thought about this. I could have gone, this envelope. Jump cut. This envelope. It's got instructions on it and arrows and stuff telling me exactly where to go. And he sent that to me in a bigger envelope with an Alice in Wonderland sticker. And I don't, th sticker? Didn't just put a sticker on it, it was a stamp. That's how you send letters. Sending him on this little mission. So I'm gonna put an Alice in Wonderland stamp on it. Be like, oh, sending you down the rabbit hole. Where are you going? Element of mystery. I was going to Cambridge. But for some reason I found it really cool because I've never been to Cambridge by train before. And the guy I was meeting on the other end, one of the other actors, I have no contact number for him or anything. I just have to know him by face. I've met him before, so I know what he looks like, but I just had to stand there and hope that a man I recognised with glasses would walk towards me and then we could get a taxi. Crazy. I don't take many risks in my life, so travelling somewhere and not really knowing where I was going or how I was going to be meeting up with people was really exciting for me. Uh, I'm a bit of a dork, I know that, don't really care. So anyway, met up with Simon and we got a taxi over to Cambridge University. That's where I was performing, one of the colleges, couldn't tell you which one. I went inside to explore, to like try and find the director and like the other actors and stuff. Couldn't find anyone. Did find free coffee. I was basically fun for Louis at this point. Oh, can't quite hold the camera for that shot, can you bud? Anyway, we got about halfway through the rehearsal process and we all started getting a bit hungry and I hadn't really brought any food with me. But because the performance was part of a big symposium about the theorist Jack Derrida, if you don't know much about him, maybe Google him. It's quite interesting. I was holding back a burp throughout that, so I'm very sorry. Anyway, we heard there were these refreshments upstairs and all the people had gone into their next lecture so we could go up and scavenge. Got these sandwiches and I started eating them as I was walking back down the stairs to go back into the rehearsal space. Realised I had to pee. It happens. Have a paper plate with sandwiches on it. What do I do? Got to take them in with me because I can't just leave them on the stairs, obviously. They had a shower in the toilet with a little chair. Put my sandwiches down on this chair. There was a bit of lettuce on the chair, so I thought, like, someone's done this before. Someone's had this idea. As I'm peeing, I start choking on the bit of sandwich that I was chewing on. <laughs> I've never choked whilst peeing before. It's not... It's messy. Basically, a big part of the play are these symbolic items that are on a table. Like, it's all... It's very surrealist and very absurd, so I don't really know exactly what's going on. But apparently, that's good, because my character knows nothing about what's going on. So it just enhances it. Meth I'm a method actor, essentially. There was a QA and a after the performance with the writer and director. Um, and we were just sat on stage during it. The writer was saying that he used to play the part I play, but he said it never really worked because he knew too much about what was going on. So he was explaining like, you know, we got Ant in because uh, he doesn't really know much about it. And I'm just sat there going like, I know nothing whatsoever. I literally did that. I did that hand movement. A Couple of people chuckled. One guy in the audience 
stared me directly in the eyes and started clapping. I laughed, he stopped immediately. He was applauding my stupidity. You fucking idiot. Im, am I right? Hideous. Hideous. I laughed and he stopped. I think I offended him by laughing. Also had a funny incident with a taxi driver, but um, he turned out to be quite racist. Racism, bringing the tone down for the whole video. Ow. You want some sugar from daddy? It's a sugar cube packet. I've come to the toilet because I haven't been able to actually vlog properly and say anything to my camera because I've been with the other actors and stuff. So, didn't think they'd understand. People can hear me. Look at that, toilet selfie. 2K15. <laughs>